What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Norrin Rad89 here. Finally got a chance to catch Halloween Kills. I know I'm a little bit late on this one, but finally got a chance to check this out, and we're going to be talking about this film. This is going to be a non-spoiler review, so don't worry about any spoilers or anything in this video. So let's get down to it. And of course, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and like, because it definitely helps out the channel, and you don't want to miss a thing. So let's get into this video. Roll it. So as you can see, I got my new Halloween kill shirt on. This is badass. Shout out to Fright Rags. That's where I got this from. Let's get into this film. First, we're going to dive into the positives, the things that I really did like about this film, and then we'll get into the negatives and then my rating, and we'll cap it off. So right off the bat, the main positive with this film, you have to talk about it. James Jude Courtney, arguably one of the greatest Michael Myers actors we've ever had, like for real, his portrayal of Myers, especially in the 2018 one and Halloween Kills, freaking top notch, for real. This guy is amazing. I'm like in love with this dude as Michael Myers, for real. He's freaking amazing. Another thing is our kills in the film. We got some really graphic kills, amazing ones for sure. I was happy with all the graphics, all the kills, like the way they turned out was dope. And we had some cool little homages and Myers being his normal theatrical self, you know, with his kills, like, you know, posing his, his death, like after he kills him, he poses the, like the victims and stuff in certain ways. So we got a lot of cool, like uh, nods to that. Like I said, Myers is probably easily the best part about this movie. We also had some really good, like, character moments in this one there were there were some key character moments for different characters in this film that I really did like where it was emotional it was powerful and I felt like there was a little more acting prowess in some of those scenes compared to the first 2018 one so that's what I was happy with we had some really good like powerful emotional moments in them did we need all of them I'm gonna say no but we definitely had some emotional moments in this film now let's get into the negatives of this film. Maybe like the mix too. This is kind of the negatives and the mix section because there's a lot of mixed aspects with this film where I'm like, ah, let's see what happens. So my main thing that really bothered me with this film was the editing and the pacing. I think this has like one of the worst pacings out of all the Halloween films in the franchise. I just, when I went into this one, I expected it to be balls to the wall, zero to a hundred. We're not freaking stopping. It takes place in the same night. Let's just go. Let's just see Myers kill people. Let's see them hunt him down. Boom. Let's have it going. And it's not like that at all. Like the pacing on this movie is completely j like jarring. It's like fast and then slow and then slow and then fast. And then the middle part is really slow. Like it's just, like I said, it feels, it doesn't really feel like a second film to me. You know what I mean? It almost kind of feels like they're starting from this one, like they like you know Halloween 2018. It did happen, of course. We know that happened, but this one feels like a first film. It doesn't feel like a sequel film to me. Also, we have some editing problems in this film. The editing is freaking god awful. There were some moments in this film where I literally like got lost in terms of what the frick was happening because like some of these editing problems. I was like, damn, dude. Like it's just it's edited to be how I explained it I wanted it to be I wanted it to be zero to a hundred fast we're not stopping Halloween kills let's freaking go that's how this film is edited but that's not how it's paced that's not how it's acted it's acted at a very slow pace it takes its time and like I said the editing is very choppy very jumpy and it doesn't fit the vibe of the film and that's why I was like damn dude this one just doesn't have the atmosphere that 2018 did. I definitely had more fun with Halloween 2018 when I saw that film. This film, like, this isn't a bad Michael Myers movie. It's not a horrible Halloween movie. It's just I had more enjoyment, more entertainment with that first 2018 film because this one doesn't have the ambiance. It doesn't have the atmosphere of that other film. Like, the only time I remember hearing the score in this movie is during the intro the beginning title sequence that's the only time i remember actually hearing the score besides that i don't feel any music throughout the film so that's what i mean like with michael myers the halloween franchise it, music is a key thing you really need the score to set the atmosphere and the mood of the film and that's what kind of takes you through the film it's the driving force in the movie and for this one i feel, i didn't feel any of it like i said the music the only time i remember the title sequence or it was the title sequence that's the only time i remember hearing the music or the score or anything like that the rest of the time i just i, I didn't feel it 
So as you can see, I'm very mixed on this one. We also have some characters in this one that I think that some returning characters I really loved, like Lindsay Wallace. That was my favorite of the returning characters. I thought she did really good. Some of our other returning characters that are like that they brought back from the first film, I didn't like. Like Tommy Doyle, I wasn't a fan of his character. And I know Anthony Michael Hall is not a bad actor. He isn't. He's a good actor. But the way his character was written and the way he acted as Tommy Doyle, I just I wasn't jiving with that at all. I was kind of waiting for him to die for sure. So overall, in my book, Halloween Kills is gonna get a 6.5 out of 10. This is still an above average Halloween film. It's still like for me, it's like a probably like middle ground. Halloween in terms of the franchise some of those other ones I think they just hit harder for me because of nostalgia and like I said they have better atmosphere other things but the key things in this film that are great James Jude Courtney you, you're gonna love him he's freaking amazing and the kills the kills are top notch for sure the way it looks like if you're going into this it's hard because I know Halloween fans, like hardcore Halloween fans, they want to go into this and they're like, I love freaking Halloween. It's my franchise. Like I need to, you know, be connected to this. And a lot of these characters, they care about these people in this franchise. I think if you were just a, a layman's viewer and you weren't like a hardcore Halloween fan, I think you would enjoy this one a little bit more just because of all the kills, all the excitement stuff that's happening. Even though, like I said, it's paced slow. I think a, a more casual viewer would have fun with this a more hardcore halloween fan i don't think they're gonna really like this as much but i like for me it's middle ground like i said 6.5 out of 10 i'm not in love with this film but i don't hate this film it's just very middle ground for me so i also have a card in the top corner too for my playlist of all the other halloween franchise films that i've reviewed definitely check those out for sure because like i said we're going to be ranking all of them now now that i've seen all of them we're going to drop it all and rank them all and see where halloween kills lands on the list so thanks for sticking around with me y'all and don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing and have a safe and happy day peace out